coming today. Um, before we start, we must thank the elders past and present for their use of their land, Aboriginal land. Uh, that's very important. And I was just over in Canberra at the tent embassy and we were discussing with the elders several issues about Australia, but this particular thing about the shark culls, they were appalled. So I just want you to know the Aboriginal elders in their community are appalled and they back us 100% from Canberra. So good, good on them. Yeah. Uh, my name's Mark Aldridge, I'm with the Australian Alliance and we have an animal welfare division um, which has a strong interest in reforms. Now what uh, is appalling here is that inno innocent animals dragged up beside a boat and shot in the head with a rifle uh, of the wrong calibre is absolute disgrace to this country and it sends a message around the world that we don't care for our wildlife. It sends a message that the environmental protections that we've worked so hard for are being pushed aside by um, the current government and it's unacceptable, we all know that. The federal law was in place to protect sharks. The federal law was there to protect the environment and we know that Greg Hunt um, up there in Canberra has uh, allowed the WA government to slaughter these animals. He's also allowed them to go into our Great Barrier Reef and destroy that and to dump rubbish there. Now that's unacceptable and we all know it. So let's have a, um, a big cheer in a moment for Greg Hunt. Um, and I don't think it'll be a cheer, but a big boo for Greg Hunt. Can we have that please? <laughs> the problem here is that governments uh, have a mandate and 82% of the Australian public do not want this shark coal to go ahead. It is unacceptable for a minister to override our protections that are hard fought protections for these animals. He has no mandate to do that and it's unacceptable. So I want everybody here, when they go home, to find his phone numbers, to find his email addresses and send letters to him and block his email service and make him absolutely certain that we do not accept the slaughter of innocent animals in this nation. I was over in WA uh, last week, I'll go head back again on Thursday to meet with animal welfare groups there and they are appalled as well. So just so you know, this is Australia wide, but the people in WA, even the ministers themselves in WA, some of their, their staff are absolutely appalled by what's going on. So it is a, uh, even the media today, when I was speaking to the media on, on, on ABC this morning and, and uh, on 5AA, even the staff have had enough. So we may be fairly large numbers here today, but we represent 82% of the Australian population that think this is absolute bloody rubbish. There's, some, there's going to be some great speakers today that are much more informed than I am on the topic um, and uh, so I won't go too much into it. Um, to invest $4 million plus to slaughter innocent animals in some stupid manner when there is absolutely no proof, there is absolutely no evidence whatsoever to say this will actually make it safer to swim in the ocean. So it's absolute rubbish. There are animals out there, there are other, there are other sea life out there that will also be caught up in this rubbish. So please everybody make sure you keep spreading the word, get on, get on, look, get on um, your email, get on your um, Facebook sites, your social networks and make sure you spread this word. Let's appear ten times bigger than we even are because we can stop this because the United People have never lost anything ever in our history. Yeah. The most important thing for all of us to realise that we have to live in harmony with the environment. We cannot override the environment until we as a, as a people, as a race, can start to work in harmony with our sea life, with our, with our environment, we are the ones that will be in demise because the mother nature will come back, we won't. So this is an important moment in our history to stand up every time this happens and meet like this and scream out and make sure our voices are heard to make a difference in this country. Thank you. Yeah.